I just did it, man. I just couldn't get it on camera. He just went, he just dropped in the field. He's dead. It's a decent eight. Oh, he got, I love it. He's been running around chasing does all morning. And I just couldn't get on camera. It's just too, that one minute, one person thing's too hard. I tried. It's raining and spitting. But he's a he's a decent eight. He's decent for West Virginia. I can't couldn't pass him up. Oh my gosh. I see his well butt white belly right now. There's his belly. It's just it's just been too nasty this morning. I couldn't even use the camera. It's just, it didn't say it was supposed to rain, but it's been spitting and being all nasty. He's making the camera all blurried up, so it couldn't work. It's still enough that I can use it, though. Uh, this doe, this buck was chasing does. Um, I'm hunting right on the edge of a bedding area. And uh, I knew they would be in here bedding. And I knew this box would be sneaking in here. I seen a couple already. Shoot, box cruising by. It's uh, it's only eight o'clock. This buck was pushing does already by seven o'clock. Um, I had him come in at 50 yards first, but it was quartering two, and I'm not taking a shot quartering two, especially this type of weather. And he's been pushing does back and forth in this little hollow. Um, let's see if you can see it. All in this little spot right here. They're bedding in this thicket down bottom here. And up the top there, that's where he came out from. But all the does are feeding on the, the winter rye. And he was just checking on every one of them, chasing them all around the fields. And uh, I believe it a couple times. And, dude. Didn't have anything to do with it. Grunted, didn't have anything to do with it. But I snort wheezed, and he stopped and looked and started walking my way. He got to about five yards behind the tree, and I couldn't do anything. The camera's running the other direction, and I'm just there, like, hopeless, hoping he doesn't catch me. Well, he caught drift of something. There's a little scent bomb that I put out. That's right there. You can see it. And he was right downwind from it, sniffing it, and then he knew something was up, and he uh, tried it off a little to 20 yards, snuck around the tree, and that's all I showed, all she wrote, uh, double lunged him. Uh, didn't, uh, it, uh, I think I hit the back shoulder because it didn't go all the way through. Gave a nice punch though, and then I watched him run and do a tumble. Let's go check him out. He's dead. I don't want to scare, spook anything else though, so I'm gonna sneak out of here and uh, let the other guys hunt. There's three other guys hunting here. Let's go check him out. Okay, guys. I don't. My tripod's in the jeep, and I don't feel like getting it. So this deer was. Right here the whole time. There I am up in the tree. And he just kept on standing and standing here. There's the scent bomb that he was downwind from. That he was smelling and smelling. And he was like, there's no dough. I gotta get out of here. And he tried it over this way. Let's see. And... He went up this trail. And I shot him right here. There's there's hair. Shot him right here. I had a hole. Doesn't look like I did, but there was a hole. Looked like twenty two yards. Well let's go look for a little blood. There's hair. 
I mean, what am I saying? Build up for blood. I'm gonna have to go look for my arrow. I'm not gonna find blood in this wet rain. I'm just gonna go by his trails. There's his trail tracks. Let's see if I can see blood. I can just no way. Wet, wet on wet. I just follow his tracks. He's on it. He's on this way. Okay. He's right here. I just want to arrow. I think the oh. I think that's what this buff's been doing right here. There's a freshie. I like freshies. Well, I'm gonna go get this buck out. Do a video of my body. Okay, here we are. Where are we at? I left this side alone off season and I pretty much hunted it once and that was with my father-in-law and I guess it was worth it because he put he tore up the place there he is ah oh, shaky camera oh well nice The rage in the cage. Oh my gosh. I didn't think he was going to be like that. He's a shooter. West Virginia shooter. Gosh, that's graphic. Look at that blood. There you go. Can't pass that up any day. Shoot, I might shoot him in Western or Maryland. That's what I saw. He's nice. He did a pile drive. He went face first into the ground. Well, this is my second best. And uh West Virginia. There's an eight here that's probably twice the size of this one. But he's nice. He's a lot nicer than I thought he was. I think I got cameras this guy. But he put a heck of a hole in him. My arrow is somewhere between here and there. Well, let me get this thing taken care of. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's nice. Let's go make a couple phone calls. Let's go from there. What's going on guys? I'm hunting with my buddy this afternoon. I tagged out this morning, shot a nice hate. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't get it on camera. It was raining a little too much and I couldn't see the LCD uh, frame. It was getting all messed up, so I said screw it. Uh, we're hunting this little, we're hunting the edge of the bedding area again. 
and uh, hopefully we get lucky. Let's see what happens.